Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try one of these new Jimmy Dean Delights. This is the Egg Witch, uh, the breadless breakfast, and it basically means you have egg instead of bread. Um, it is ham, bell peppers, mushrooms, bacon, and onion egg frittatas. That's what's in just the egg parts. And then it's got turkey sausage and cheese in the middle. So that's a lot of stuff in the on just the, the bread, the top and the bottom. That's pretty cool. Um, we bought these at Walmart. They were $5.97. There are four in a box. 13 grams of protein. Like I said, they're new. At least new to me. And it says they're new. I don't know how new. Uh, 240 calories. And here's your other information for you. Okay. So you keep these frozen. Um, you don't thaw them out or anything like that. Um, you uh, remove the pouch from the box. Do not take it all the way out. You're just going to vent one corner one inch. So you're just going to open the pouch up one inch just to let it vent. Microwave on high for one minute and 40 seconds to one minute and 50 seconds. I'll probably do 145. Um, open the pouch immediately after it's done cooking and remove it and let it sit for one to two minutes. What I did, um, I've done um, another one of these and what I did was I just opened the pouch, the little top of the pouch up completely and um, and just let it sit in a pouch and it was fine. This is how you open them. And they are kind of all stuck together. So you can't really, I can't pull one out of the box, but you can kind of see what they look like. And you can pull, you can see right here, you, you pull this apart and you vent it. And then I pulled this little thin plastic layer off completely when it was done and just let it sit for a minute or two and it was fine. So I'm going to get this in the microwave and I'll be back when it comes out. All right, here it is out of the microwave and uh, I took it out, immediately pulled this film off and I've let it sit for like two minutes and uh, then I just cut it in fourths just so it's easier to handle um, and lets it cool off a little more. But there's what it looks like inside. Oops, looks like it's got a bunch of stuff in there, that's for sure. It looks like it has, you can see some peppers in there. Uh, I'm sure some of this is mushrooms. Um, yeah, it's got a bunch of stuff in it. So I'm going to let this cool off just long enough for me to get my camera turned around and I'll be right back. Okay, so I would expect to taste a little bit of that sausage and also get the uh, the bell peppers and the bacon and the onions out of the, the egg frittata. So uh, let's see. Mm. I get peppers and onions. I taste that. You get the egg. There is a little bit of a smokiness there that could be from the ham. It's, it's hard to tell because the, the peppers and onions are, are your primary flavor. Yeah, I get a little bit of a ham flavor. I don't taste the sausage at all. The sausage is like, it needs to be spiced up a bit. It needs to be a little stronger uh, sausage flavor. I mean, just because it's turkey sausage doesn't mean it has to be bland. It can have some spices to it, and there's just not any spice to this. Um, the eggs are somewhat firm on the outside, like the outside edge, but when you get into the middle, it's kind of soft and uh, not quite rubbery, but just like a really soft scrambled egg. So that's kind of the texture. Of the, all of these have been like this. This makes the, um, I think there's been three of them. Um, this one, they've all been the exact same way uh, as far as the uh, softness of it. This one by far has the most flavor, but only because of the peppers and onions in the egg part, not because of the sausage part. The sausage, I have the same complaint I had on the other two. There's just not a lot of flavor to it. It needs some spice in there. You need to add some spice to your sausage. Um, the It can be healthy sausage and still have spices in it. Spices aren't much calories and they don't have any fat. So why not put spices in there? It needs to be a little spicier. Um, not burn your mouth off spicy, but just something. Um, the cheese is like, they could have saved calories on the cheese because you can't taste it. Um, they could have honestly left the sausage off because you can't taste it. This would be better, and I think I said this on my last video. I wish they would put this egg frittata in the middle of a English muffin or even a biscuit. Um, the English muffin with this egg and not like about that thick, not, not with the meat in there, but if you took the meat out of the middle and just made the egg about that thick in the middle, and you could even put sausage on there too. You could put this whole thing in a <laughs> an English muffin and it would taste awesome. But anyway, I guess that's too many calories. Um, hmm. Now, this one, this one is the best out of the three. I still have the same complaints though. They just don't have enough flavor to really replace the um, the English muffins. Um, although I do absolutely love the peppers and onions, um, even the ham, 
Don't taste mushrooms. You know, those could not be in there at all. Uh, or the bacon. I could be tasting bacon too. It's bacon or ham. Something in there is a little smoky. Um, but anyway, whatever whatever they got in the egg, they could use that on an, on one of those English muffin sandwiches and it would be so awesome. It would just be really, really good. That That's what they should do. Um, I guess if you're watching your carbs or something, maybe you don't want bread or I don't know. Anyway, this for me, this was just kind of, this is a three. I would almost give it a three and a half. Okay, I'll give it a three and a half. The other two were threes. I'll give this one a three and a half because it does taste better, but it's still not something I would buy again. I would I would rather have just the uh, English muffin sandwiches by Jimmy Dean's. So um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.